I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Friday's White House press briefing, Fox News reporter Peter Ducey pressed Karine Jean-Pierre on whether it is appropriate for demonstrators to protest Supreme Court justices at restaurants. The question comes after Justice Brett Kavanaugh was confronted by protesters at a Morton Steakhouse and had to leave out the back. Since a draft decision was leaked weeks ago indicating the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Republican appointed justices have seen protesters showing up at their houses. Kavanaugh was also targeted by a potential assassin who had at one point planned to kill him. Watch Ducey and Jean-Pierre's interchange now. Thank you, Kareem. Uh, you talked a little bit about privacy today. Does the president think it's appropriate for abortion rights protesters to intimidate Supreme Court justices when they're out to eat, like Brett Kavanaugh, who had to sneak out of a steakhouse last night? We have been pretty clear on this. The president has been very clear that we condemn uh, any intimidation. Uh, of, uh, of judges in this, in this specific uh, um, uh, question here. We have condemned that. We have signed. Uh, he has signed a piece of legislation making sure that they have the protection that they need. But you never and so said we, don't go to their houses So as long as they're peaceful. Would you say don't go to a restaurant that a Supreme Court justice is at? What I'm saying is we condemn any intimidation uh, when it comes to uh, judges, we have been. The president has talked about this, and we have put out statements in so his name and many, that many okay times. If protesters know that a justice is out to eat at a restaurant, well, that, pro that they can go and protest as long as they are what you consider peaceful. That's okay. Well, we have said that we want to see peaceful uh, protests. That's what we have said. We want to see the, pe the protests be peaceful. But when it comes to intimidation, that is something that we have condemned. So where's the line? If these protesters can go to a justice's house and they can go to a restaurant, where is it that you don't think it's appropriate for a group of protesters when to go? I, I just laid out. You asked me about intimidation. We condemn intimidation. We condemn any violence. And we've been very clear. That is, it is a clear, uh, it is a, a clear definition of what violence is and what intimidation is. Peaceful protest, uh, people should be allowed to be to be able to do that. In a restaurant? If it's outside of a restaurant, if it's peaceful, for sure. Really? Peaceful protest. We're, you were, your first question so to me just, was so, intimidation. So these justices, because protesters do not agree with an opinion that they signed on to, have no right to privacy is what you're but saying. But Peter, this is this is people have the right. To, this is what a democracy is. People, people have, have the right. right to privacy? Of course, people have a right to privacy, but people also have a right uh, to be able to protest peacefully. Is that peacefully? Safe? It's the intimidation and the violence that we condemn. Is, is that safe? Peter, is that creating a potential really bad situation when there are people, even if they're uh, being peaceful at the time, they're angry. And that's why they would be there, right? Peter, we have condemned any well, intimidation okay and violence. I said peaceful protest should be allowed. We do, we do commend, condemn intimidation, that's and we condemn any violence at, at, at any, whatever, at whatever, ty whatever type of violence. So, We've been very clear on that. So President We've been, Biden. And the president has signed, the president has signed legislation that was passed by part, in a bipartisan way in Congress to make sure that the judges have the protection that they need. We, this administration, has provided U.S. Mar Marshals through the DOJ uh, to make sure that these judges are protected. So we have shown how we want to make sure that intimidation and violence is not the way to go. It is not the, uh, the way to have a political discourse. I'm done here, Peter. 